out here with Andrew Kabarian after uh, uh, Stonehill win in week three home opener. Andrew, obviously, just first off, just what's it like to get here and uh, on home tonight, finally, after the first two weeks on the road? Yeah, it feels great to play in front of our fans at home. Um, the first two weeks, we were away, so definitely a good feeling to be here. Um, obviously, the defense is really, you know, hitting on all strides here early on. Just talk about what you guys are doing and just, you know, making it easy for the offense, kind of. <laughs> um, what we really stress as a defense is consistency on and off the field every day of practice. So that's really what we show on the field, too. Uh, defensive lines really, you know, all three games providing pressure inside, and uh, you're a big part of that. Just talk about what you guys as a unit. Um, I know there's really like eight or nine of you guys that shuffle and rotate all game. Just talk about that unit. Uh, we got a great rotation going. Um, there's the first line, second line, and even guys on the third line that come in don't even skip a beat, so it keeps everyone fresh. Uh, they came in with the top rushing offense, and you guys are the top rushing defense. Um, obviously, I think you've got to feel like you guys won that battle tonight. Yeah, someone's got to give, and I think we showed up. So uh, Now, obviously, next week, uh, post, um, I don't really need to say much about that, uh, how big a game that's going to be for you guys. Just, what are you guys looking forward to next week? Um, really... Right after the game, we're already looking at, looking over to post, so we're, we're already on to that game. Really right. looking forward to it. All right, Andrew, well, congratulations on the great start, and uh, good luck next week. Thank you. All right, head coach Rob Talley, 51-13 uh, win over Pace. Uh, obviously, first off, I guess this has to be good to be here at home tonight and play a home game, and obviously, you know, with the scoreline being what it was. Yeah, well, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice to be home, you know, especially the last two games being on the road. Um, so it's been, it was nice. It was just, it's so much easier. You get to sleep in your own bed and, um, you know, eat pregame meal in, in our cafeteria. So it was nice. And then to come out here and have such a dominating, you know, um, victory, you know, really it helps too because so many guys were able to play. Um, and oh, I, we probably came out of pretty injury free as well. So um, that was big from that standpoint. Uh Offensively, Kellen Marcus really set the tone. Uh, finished uh, 166 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, really kind of set the tone early for you on. You know, offense. and we always talk about it when when Collins going, it's it's really good because it sets up our play action. They they have to do some different things to try to stop him. That really opens up our pass game. So we were really able to um, be really really efficient today and really and pick up some big chunks. So. Um, and Collins, Collins, you know, in my mind, the back, best back in the league, and you know, when he when he's able to show it, that that's huge for us. Uh, Matt Foles, your quarterback, again efficient, 15 of 18, finishes with 169 yards, uh, but three touchdown passes. I mean, just continues to improve every game. Yeah, I mean, he's and to me, he's he's figuring it out. You know what I mean? He's figuring out. He's, um, you know, he's a young quarterback. You know, so the more game experience he has, um, the better. And as I've said before, he's, he's such a smart kid that he can handle so much. So does a great job of, of running. Doesn't, you know, um, is unfazed by, by pressure or when he gets hit. And um, he's a great competitor. So, um, so and him being that efficient, you know, obviously sets a tone for our offense as well. Uh, they came in, top rushing offense in the league, held them to 66 yards, really offense, 131 yards, but really much of that game under 100 yards on offense. Let's talk about the defense. You know, they keep on playing. And, you know, I, I guess my expectation was coming in that we'd have a pretty good shot, you know. Um, you know, we always prided ourselves on, on, on run defense, and they were a running team. And, and, I, and I think, you know, their quarterbacks weren't as experienced as you'd like, so we were saying, okay, go ahead and pass the ball. You know we're, we're gonna we're gonna take care of the run, and once again, our defensive staff did an absolutely incredible job um, preparing our guys, and our guys carried out the plan. Uh, defensive line really carried you. I, you know, Andrew Kabarian led you in tackles and one and a half for a loss. Uh, just talk about your defensive line, and obviously with the Andrew. You know, and it's weird. We've been, we, you know, we've been. It's probably going into camp was on our deepest positions. <laughs> then we had a, then we had a rash of injuries that that took a bunch of people away, and you know we're getting some of those people back, but. Bunch of people. I mean, we probably have about you know 10 to 12 kids that are playing, you know, up front. So uh, just the ability to be able to keep those guys fresh and those guys be able to be productive when they're in there um, is huge for our defense. Um, and then a uh, junior Anthony Leggio, uh, he's kind of getting his shot this year after you know Brian Harrington graduated. Uh, he finished with five titles. Talk about how his improvement you know, over his career. It, and um, and Ledge has been just so steady, you know, and that, that's the biggest thing with him. And his you know his first. Two years here was more of a special teams guy and did a great job there. And then, you know, so I think he's been ready for this opportunity. He's been looking forward to this opportunity, you know, to be the guy in there. And, um, you know, and, and he showed up. And that's, you know, that's what we, that's what we need. 
All right, Coach. Uh, I mean, obviously, you, you turn the page here to post next week, and I don't, I don't think we really had to talk about how big of a game that is early on, and uh, just talk about the opportunity here. You know, to me, like, it's it's going to be game number four. You know, and, and it's just it's another opportunity, and it's not it's not the end all. We're not gonna um, we're not gonna build it up build up to that, and this this conference is too crazy for that, and we'll have a lot of hard games after that. But you know, we're excited about the opportunity. Last time we went down there, we got really close. Last year we went down there, we got really close. And um, they're a good football team and a good football program. So we'll look forward to it. We're gonna. We need a week to prepare. Um, but once we um, once we once we head down there, you know, we feel like we'll be in good shape to be able to just compete with them. All right. Well, congratulations on the win tonight. Enjoy it, and uh, good luck next week. Oh, thank you.